Hey guys, it's Windy from Windy Star. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint a portrait in watercolor. If you're ready, grab your pens and paper and let's begin. This is my finished painting. As always, I start with pencil sketch. I refer to my reference photo and I draw out the basic contour and shape. After that, I use my paper masking tape to create a rectangle around my drawing so I know where my background ends. Before start painting, I like to mix my color in advance so it's ready to use when I'm coloring. Then I start painting the background. I'm using wet on wet techniques here, which means I apply a layer of clean water. Then I quickly add color while the paper is still wet, so the color blends out nicely, as you can see here. After that, I sprinkle some salt on the background. Because of the salt absorption, it creates the snow-like effect. Then use the sand painting process to finish the background on the left side. Next, I start painting from the face. I first add a base layer on and add the darker shades around the face while the paper is still wet so it creates a natural looking skin. Because the forehead has lighter color, so I dilute the color a little bit while painting it. Also make sure you avoid the eyes while putting on the base color. After that, I let my paper dry and remove the salt from the background. I start putting the darker shades around the eyes and on the eyebrows. Then I use some shell pink color to put on the cheek and around the forehead. Next, I start painting the darkest part of the eyes. I usually start painting from the eyes, but this time I want to try something different and I also want to make sure my base color is right. For the white eyes, it's not totally white. If you look closely, it actually has some very light skin tone color in it. If you leave it all white, it will look a little bit unnatural. Next, I use my number zero pen brush and I pen following the following direction of the eyebrows. After that, I start painting the lips. I first add a base color, then I add the darker shades while it's still wet. Then use the same painting process to finish the eyebrow on the left side and the eyes. After I'm done, I add the eyelashes using my number zero pen brush. Next, I strengthen the line that connects the blanket to the face. Now the face is basically done, I start painting the hair. I'm using my number 10 pen brush and put a base there on the hair. Make sure you avoid the blanket areas. Then I add darker shades while the paper is still wet. I'm using indigo and a dark brown color here for the darker shades. After I'm done with that, I use my smaller pen brush to paint out the details of the hair.
for a blanket, I start painting from the pattern part of it. Make sure you pay attention to the footed area where the pattern breaks. Then I add the darker shadows where the blanket is folded. Continue painting the blanket on the left side until it's finished. Next, I use my white gouache from Winsor & Newton to add the highlight in the hair and around the eyes. Lastly, the touch-up. Before finish painting, I like to go back to see if there's any details missing or any areas need to be strengthened again. Also, I use the white gouache to add the splatter effect around the blanket and the hair. So the painting is about done here. If you have any questions, comment below and let me know. That's all for today's video. I really hope it's helpful and if you enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you never miss out on my weekly art videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye!